The American pit bull is the most feared and at the same time most misunderstood breed of dog. In the 1920s and 30s, pits were called the nanny dog. In fact, Petey, who starred in The Little Rascals, was an American pit bull. After years of manipulation of the breed, they have a reputation that most of the time brings up a negative response. The dogs that are bred for fighting are very carefully selected and they pick out the most aggressive, the strongest, the, the most muscular, and those are the ones that they breed in order to improve their line. On April 17th, a man was arrested in Natchitoches for dog fighting. 23 dogs were seized from his home. Four had to be euthanized. Equipment used to train dogs for fighting was also found. And in April of 2014, four-year-old Mia Derwin of Homa was attacked and killed by Nico, this 130-pound male pit bull who was actually the family pet. In 2008, 83-year-old Luna McDaniel was taking an early morning walk in Villeplatte when she was attacked by three pit bulls. Ten days later, she died from serious injuries suffered in the attack. Now, Louisiana State Dog Attack House Bill 155 was passed because of McDaniel's death, and this bill increased the charges that could be brought against the owners of dogs who commit fatal attacks. McDaniel's son, Bob, feels there is still a problem in Louisiana with the handling of these dogs. By law over here, you're supposed, you're supposed to be on a cement slab and six foot, uh, like hurricane fence or water around them. They had them in a, I, I didn't see in the back, but virtually no fence, a, a very poor fence. Most people are split down the middle when it comes to pit bulls. You either love them or you hate them. But the fact of the matter is, pit bull advocates say these dogs' behavior is directly linked to their owners. Uh, parameters that they know that they have to live by and they need to have a strong pack leader in order to keep them in the boundaries. You better not. You know better than that. You got me dirty. Cassie Angel and her husband love pits. In fact, they own two, along with their four-month-old baby girl, Daisy, and they coexist just fine. My husband, when they delivered her, they put her in a, a little blanket. He brought that home, let them smell it, so they got her scent. And then uh, once their tails would start wagging, you give them a treat just so that they know that this is good. Um, and then once we brought her home, it was just a matter of us holding her, letting them sniff her. And like automatically, they, you could tell they were just so into her. In Lafayette, I'm Jeff Horchak for KLFY News 10.